What is going on everybody? It is Mr. Arrow HD and we are here again with the Build a Drift to Kill It Revisit week. Uh, if you guys are just tuning in, then I am in Road Atlanta this weekend for Formula Drift Road Atlanta. Uh, if you guys, it's a, it's, this should be coming out Saturday. So if you guys are coming out today to, uh, to the event or you're at the event for whatever reason you're on YouTube right now, please come and say hi if you see me. I will be here. I've been here since Tuesday or Wednesday. But, uh, yep, yeah, so that's why they're, that this is happening. But um, the song we use today actually is probably one of my favorite songs right now, period. I stumbled across it before I decided using it for a video. Uh, it's called Downforce from Twilight Racing. It's on the Outrun Europa compilation soundtrack, which is absolutely free. So if you want a full album full of really good music um, and very ver various electro stuff, um, anything that would sound right with you in a car blasting down a European highway. Uh, this album is really worth checking out. And it's especially because it's at no cost, if, unless you choose to pay. It's like a band camp uh, pay what you want thing. Every, links to a Twilight Racing will be in the description below. The guy doesn't have very many followers or subscribers on uh, Facebook or Twitter or whatever. So give him a give him a shout, tell him my arrow sent you, and gave him some bad props. But um, so this is my first car this week. Uh, I've recorded up from the 240 to now in one night. So this is my first car tonight uh, driving that wasn't a V8. And uh, you, you can really tell, especially with the SR20 in this. Uh, I'm kind of glad I kept the SR20 in because there is no, I don't believe there's any other SR20s in Forza 5. But uh, you can really tell the difference. It's the, the power is not immediate, but it's not so bad once you're conscious of it. Uh, you know, clutch kicking is an easy way to get around that. Uh, if you don't like clutch kicking, I kind of just bump the throttle as I'm going into the corner. Um, just to keep the revs up. It's not so much for a drifting thing, it's just to try to keep the revs up so I can just punch it when I want to. Uh, the chassis feels like it needs a little bit more grip all around. I know it shouldn't, it's not because it has too much power. It only has about 450 horsepower, which in real life would be quite a bit for an S15, but this is like the most overpowered car in Forza 5. Everyone I see running these is an S-Class with 1,000 horsepower and thinking they're Sakechi Tsuchiya. But honestly, with street tires, I feel like 450 horsepower is very much lots um maybe sport tires it'll feel a little bit better because i felt like i needed more grip in the rear or maybe i just need to work on the tune a bit more um but when the car did work when it was at medium to high speeds and uh it was gripping well it gripped well like the chassis it's, it's there i don't have to tell you guys this is a good drift car clearly you know that already but um i think some sport tires or if you want to keep the straight tires on maybe bump it down to about 420 or like 400 horsepower and you're gonna have a real winner on your hands um car flicks very quickly it's but it's not like scary fast like a like a like a super light car um very well balanced it just needs a little bit more grip or a little bit less horsepower and it would be it's still fun to drive and i was debating on saying it was almost as good as the s2000 but it just doesn't have that side bite that the S2000 has, in my opinion. I don't know if it's because the wheels are smaller or what. But um, anyways, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. If you are in the again, if you are in the road Atlanta or the Atlanta area, please come say hi to me. If you are at uh, Formula Drift, um, and if not, that's cool too. <laughs> um, you know, try this out if you're looking for a new drift car, if you don't like the way your S15 is feeling. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.